Hey, hey, what is up guys, this is Nathan, I'm in my basement, got my lava lamp burning, and we are playing Resident Evil 4, and yeah, we're gonna kill some stuff, isn't that fun? So if you remember last time, we killed a big fish thing, and then we killed some people, and now we are going to go kill our second boss of the game, which is surprisingly close to the first boss, but, um, yeah, close in terms of length in the game, I guess. So yeah, um, and this one is a little bit more of a pain, because he really eats up your ammunition. And daggummit, um, let's combine this herb with those. We've got a little bit too much health here, but that is a good problem to have. So, uh, we're going to walk out here and meet our next boss. When I say this guy eats up the ammunition, I mean he really does eat up ammunition. It's crazy. Oh, what's that? Oh man, they got a rope. They got two ropes. Oh man, I'm worried about these ropes. Oh, they're playing tug of war. What's going on here? Oh man, that guy's big. That is a big man. He's just killing guys left and right. Look at that. <laughs> they just showed scenes of like five guys laying there dead and they were all the same guy. Because <laughs> they all look the same. Because there's only like five different villagers in this game. Oh, and I can dodge your moves. What you gonna do? Come on, buddy. I'm a... Oh, you think you're scary? I'm tough. I'm a tough man. And we're going to have to combine our yellow herb here. Please, you can't take me. I play Harvest Moon. I know what I'm doing. I ain't new to this. Oh, man, we're running. See, this is the way I fight El Gigante. Um, I'm sure not everybody fights in the same way. But I basically run in circles. He's going to throw that. Oh, man, that was close. <laughs> I was anticipating that dodge a little early. Um, okay, and this is where we get a little help in the fight. Hey, it's that dog. Dog! Good dog. And now the dog is going to draw his attention for you. It's the dog we saved earlier in the game. You're oh, missing me, I know what I'm doing. He's going to keep following the dog. And now he's going to come get us. So we're going to run. Ah, run, 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 run. He will grab you and pick you up and slam you into the ground if he gets the chance. So, um, don't let him do that. Oh, I don't want your TMP ammo. Uh, run. See, that was him trying to grab me. But yeah, this is the way I beat him. There's probably, I don't know, there may be more effective ways than this, but um, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm a coward, and this is the cowardly way. Just keep running and wait till you get a chance to shoot him. Oh, he's right behind me, I bet. Oh, he's getting a tree. Okay, and this is how we beat him. He does that, and a little parasite comes out on his back, and we have to run over and climb up his back, and if we hit the wrong... we have to hit a button. And if we hit the wrong button, he basically throws us off. Okay. B, 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 B. Slice, slice! And that's how you... you know, you don't have to do that. You can shoot the parasite... Um, when it comes out of his back, but that will use up your ammunition, obviously. So you can either knife it and waste ammunition... or knife it without using ammunition, or you can... Uh... Yeah, shoot it and use up some of your rifle ammo. And that's what he does before he charges at you. Oh dear, run, 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 run. How much ammo have I got for that? Oh, I got lots of handgun ammo left. 
I'm probably going to use handgun ammo until that starts getting low. Come on, dog. Tank for me. Oh, he is right behind me. He runs, like, just as fast as you do. Oh, he's going to throw that tree. Thinks he's playing baseball. Oh, man. Okay, so let's keep running in circles. And again, I don't know, if you guys know of a YouTube video that shows like a little bit more effective technique than this, then by all means, uh, post it and I'll like approve it as a video response. So, um, yeah. But this is how we do it, and so it's a little time consuming, but sooner or later we're going to kill him. I think after we have successfully knifed the parasite like three times, um, that's what, then he dies, and we get like 20,000... Pesetas, I think, for killing him. I'm not really 100% sure. Oh, man, he's right there. Oh, now he's going to charge. Get out of the way. And now we can shoot him. Come on. Don't do that! Oh, man, he almost got me there. Ho oh. ho! So, yeah. Um, I would say, you know, give you ideas for, like, playing cautiously here, but with this kind of boss, I'm not really sure, you know, it's just kind of me against him, and I'm not really sure how to handle, um, him in the most cautious way possible, but I mean, I guess just keeping distance is the best thing to do here. So, yeah, we'll say, uh, we'll say next cautious rule is, uh, keep your distance from huge bosses. And he's gonna use that thing and go bowling for us here. So you gotta get out of the way. Ha <laughs> ha! I got him again. Now let's climb up him. Slice this parasite up a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I did it. I did it. What are you gonna do about it? Ah, he's gonna get me. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Tank for me. Tank for me, dog. Oh man, he almost got me again. That'll teach me to turn around and look at him. Oh, now he's gonna charge. Get out of the way. And shoot. So yeah, I would just say wait until he charges or picks up a tree or something like that. And then just like unload on him as fast as you can. That is scary. I thought he had stopped or something or charged. So I turned around to look at him. Okay. Yeah, we were just running circles. Man, if this was a NASCAR race, I'd totally have this guy. Okay, he's got a rock. We're gonna reload while we got a chance. Ow, run away! That's the only thing we haven't picked up yet is that stupid TMP ammo, but I don't want it, I don't need it, I don't think I have room for it, do I? No, I don't even have room for it. Whatever. I don't even care. Well, it'd be really nice if I can beat this guy without taking a hit. I mean, it's not really hard to avoid getting hit by him, but my only concern is if I jumped on his back and hit the wrong button or something, you know? Then he grabs you and throws you into the ground and it hurts like crazy. Oh, he's charging now. Come on. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Boy, actually, I'm going to be surprised at how little ammo I am using. Usually I have to... I guess usually at this point in the game, maybe I don't have as much ammo. I haven't saved as much, and so I'm having to use, like, shotgun, and which isn't effective if you're far away from him, you know. Oh man, this may be it. Oh, run. 
Any minute now. Come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. Dog, come on. Why aren't you helping? I think possibly if you wait long enough or if you just run from El Gigante and don't hurt him for like a long enough period of time, he might start following the dog around again and stop bothering you. But that takes a while. And um, we are just going to keep shooting him, so... Oh, well. There's actually a point later on in the game where you have to fight two of these guys at once. Um, there's four El Gigantes, I think, in the whole game. Uh, two of them you have to fight together. And it's kind of made up like... You know, you can kill them pretty easily. Um, because... Um, because, like, there's, there's a special trick you can do that'll instantly kill one at the place where you have to fight them. And so, uh... Yeah, you can kill one if you want, but if you are brave enough to take on both at the same time and try to kill them both, then you get the money for uh, fighting both, which is like 20,000 each. And this is it. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel victory our way. Victory is coming! Climb, Nathan, climb! And it's A this time. I think really whether or not you hit A or B depends on where you jump on him. Like, if you jump on, if you climb up his back... Hey, he's dead now. If you climb up his back, then, like, you have to hit A to knife it. If you climb up his, um, front, you have to hit B. But, yeah. And he is down. Down for the count. Man, that's a big thing. And I'm surprised at how little ammo we used. And I'm also surprised that these gates are opening on their own. Are they letting us out? I mean, we're trapped in here. Um, so, yeah. Let's claim our money. Yeah, we used up. Well, yeah, we used up quite a bit of our handgun ammo, which is okay. If we're gonna waste some ammo, it might as well be handgun. Um, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. You understand me. Okay. Um. Reload and let's go do something really quick. Yeah, we're gonna go to the church and try to rescue Ashley now. Won't that be fun? Yes, it will. And this is a very terrifying part of the game because the my most hated enemy in this entire game, you first encounter them here, and I hate them even more than I hate regenerators, which we will see later. later. Regenerators are absolutely terrifying. But in my opinion, these are worse than regenerators, so... Yeah. Let's see them. And in order to kill them, what I'm going to do is get out my rifle, shoot one so I can aggro all the others, and then run back across this bridge really quick. But uh, waiting up here for us. Can't really see them from there. Uh, maybe I got a shot here. Yeah. No, yep, yeah, there we go. If you wait for the lightning to strike, you'll see it is a zombie dog. And these things terrify me. If we can kill one instantly, there's two or three up here. So. Come on. Run, 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 run. Jump across the threshold. Okay. And I am going to get out my shotgun because I do not play around with these guys. That's right. Hello? Are there any more? Hello? Hello, Mr. Zombie Dogs. Okay, guys. This is not exactly a very cautious thing to do, but I do this when I'm terrified. I'm just going to make a crazy run for it. Run! Oh no! Uh, zombie dogs! I don't like zombie dogs! I don't like zombie dogs! Run, 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 run! Okay, so... We made it into the church! Ha <laughs> ha! And we are safe from zombie dogs. That is the important thing. Welcome to the church. And there's money around here at several places. What does this say? The insignia's everywhere! I wonder if it's a religion from this region. Hmm. Now let's look around. There shouldn't be anybody in here right now. Flash grenade, that's good. 
I'd rather have that flash grenade than the TMP ammo I just realized I left behind. So, let's climb up here. Let's see what we got. Okay, there's a gate that way, and so we notice we can jump across here. Haha! <laughs> there's the bad guy. Just check, I think there's barrels over here, yeah. Oh man, I'm out of space. Hmm. Oh dear. I already have an incendiary and they're not as valuable as health or anything else. So, here's another puzzle in the game. Uh, if you ask me, this one's not that hard. You basically have to get all the things turning the right way. So let's go red first. Um, looks like that. So we'll go back, turn green. Green is supposed to be turned three. Go back. Blue is turned... Uh, yeah, that's it for blue. Just once for blue, and so we will combine them. And we get our little cult symbol here. Yeah, and now we can go and check out what's in here. I wonder what's in this room. Ashley! Don't come! Hey! Take it easy! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Oh, man. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. <laughs> extricating Good my work, subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a <laughs> chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Okay, so we got to go back through the village again. We've got Ashley with us, which becomes an enormous pain. Yes, Ashley is absolutely the most obnoxious thing about this game. Um, because you're basically just... The point of the game is babysitting her. You know, it's like the Babysitter's Club video game, I guess. Um... But Ashley will... Now you have two health bars, you notice. One for you, one for Ashley. And uh, you can't let Ashley get hurt or take damage or anything like that. There we go. Yeah. So this really is kind of a pain. So you can make her stay. Wait. We're doing that. Follow me. I make her follow you. Okay. But yeah, it's all going to depend. Basically, you can't leave her by herself. Um, well, there's very few situations where you can leave her by herself. And also... Um, she cannot uh, jump down on her own. She can't jump down or climb down things. You have to catch her. Which the funny thing is, though, if you get below her, there's kind of a... They added in like an Easter egg in the game. If you look below her and look up... You pervert. <laughs> she calls you a pervert for, I guess, trying to look up her skirt. But yeah. Um, so, let's go on through here for the next cutscene. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know... My name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? Oh, man. We just planted her a little gift. Same thing oh, that happened to us, apparently. Oh, going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that... I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith in money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. 
Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Oh man. <laughs> Dream. Oh, you okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. Uh. Yeah, another corny one-liner. <laughs> oh, well, wow, we shot 92%. That's pretty good, too. All right, so, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, next time, we will kill some people and do a puzzle and uh, babysit Ashley a little bit. So, until then, my friends, please, stay frosty.